Hello and welcome. My name is Meepolis, they, he, she, and today we are looking at and talking about Gay Giant by Gabriel Abensberger. Originally published in Spanish in 2016, Gay Giganta was translated by Kelly D. Salas with Mercedes Gould into English and published by Street Noise in 2022. Content notes for nudity, Harry Potter reference, homophobic slur, sex, and a Frida Cola quote. Flipping to the back of the book, Gabriel Ebensberger is described as, quote, an artist and a writer who lives by the sea in Chile. He works as an illustrator, a graphic designer, and an art director. Gabriel's work has been featured in several Chilean and international publications. Gay Giant is his debut graphic novel. Keywords that came to mind reading Gay Giant were pink, surreal, cartoon, and pop culture. The summary over on Goodreads is, quote, a child who feels like an outsider in a world that's set against him, a boy who sings on the playground instead of playing soccer, who likes Barbies, and whose secretly favorite car is the one called Tutti Frutti. Gabriel Evansberger shares with us his struggles with his own inadequacy, his feelings of guilt, and above all, his fear that his difference will be discovered. The vibrant, bright pink pages of Gay Giant paint a picture of what it was like to grow up being gay in the 90s. The author, along the way to becoming an adult, realizes that the scrutiny of the world never ends, and that true acceptance must come from within yourself. End quote. Looking at the art, the pages were definitely a bit on the oversized and simple side, although it didn't cross over into feeling empty, and it was very engrossing. Evansberger's style is very playful, and he's a beacon of self-discovery and acceptance. Reading this, and other boys, at roughly the same time, I couldn't help but compare and contrast a bit. Aimed at an older audience, Gay Giant is not terribly interested in being mature in most senses of the word, and while both men push the boundaries of masculinity in notable ways, Evansberger's experience, especially in the way he portrays them, certainly did not hit the same lows. So while Evansberger's coming of age and into himself as gay is not without its issues, this book is much more purely entertaining to read. Looking at the rest of the intersections I highlight in my reviews, I really would have appreciated a bit more about Chile. Discussion of race felt a bit notably absent, with class and ability slash disability not really talked about either. To conclude, a fun read. I finished it feeling a bit lost for meaning, but it was well put together, and the world can always use more coming-of-age survival and coming-out stories. Four stars. Bye, y'all. Keep reading an organized and capitalist depression. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Nanishnabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.